What up, YouTube? It's your boy Harry from Royal Canvas Exotics. As always, you know, that didn't change. Today, I'm finally gonna show you guys what I picked up from the New York Reptile Mega Show on White Plains. I know I said I was gonna do that in the last video. But yeah, so uh, better late than never, I guess. Funny story with this animal. So I actually had a deal with my wife. In order for me to buy this animal, I had to get my dogs these uh, little bandana things, which really isn't a bandana. It was actually like a, a hammock thing that she wanted to make into like a handkerchief for the dogs. I know, freaking weird. Like, in order for me to go back and get that animal, I had to pick those up. I honestly think I won on that deal because she wanted some lame ass whatever it was. Anyway, this animal actually has more of a sentimental value to me more than anything, kind of. Uh, and I'll dive into that shortly. But uh, without further ado, let's check this animal out. And I'm really excited to show you guys. Alright, story time. So, uh, as you guys saw in this, uh, that little clip I showed you guys, this is a moon glow boa. He's an albino hypo anery, I believe. That's what the, uh, breeder told me. They were nice enough to show me the pairing for this snake. She's gonna be huge! Cause I saw both the parents and they look pretty huge. I'm really excited about that and I'm hoping she stays tame like this. I'm gonna be, you know, handling her as much as possible and just kind of get her used to being handled so that I can take her out and, you know, show off to the people that come by and check out my animals and stuff. So, I'm really hyped, man. I'm really hyped. This snake is kind of sentimental to me and I'm not trying to be all like, whatever, but my first snake, I don't know if I told you guys before, but my first snake ever was actually a red tail boa. I actually bought that snake uh, from working at Petco because I was working there working with the reptiles and I knew nothing about snakes like I had iguanas at the time um, but I knew nothing about snakes and I was kind of like I was always kind of like eh, I don't really want to mess with snakes because my parents you know my parents hate snakes you know working with them uh, working with like red tail boas and ball pythons and like corn snakes king snakes and stuff like that I was like Yo, these things are pretty cool. Yeah, I bought a red tail boa, um, and of course I had to hide it from my parents. So I bought a little tank with a heat light and a log thingy that she could crawl up on, you know, water bowl, all that thing. I had her tank set up, and I had to hide the tank, like behind a dresser, um, like around a pillow. Like, I just used a bunch of things to kind of cover the tank so my parents wouldn't know. Probably the dumbest thing anybody could do because one, it's a huge fire hazard. So yeah, I don't recommend doing that. Um, not, not one bit, I don't recommend doing that at all. Um, but uh, yeah, I got away with it for quite some time. I kept this snake a secret for like six months or something like that. I, since, you know, I had no experience 
keeping snakes or whatever. I didn't know how good of an escape artist they are. Like, they're pretty phenomenal escape artists. So this snake actually escaped from her tank like three times, I believe. And each time I found her in a bookshelf, like behind the books or like in between books or pages or whatever. Yeah, like that was pretty weird. And clearly I didn't learn my lesson from the first time. So boom, once again, I was a 15, 16, I think 16, 17 year old, you know, young, dumb kid that uh, didn't really pay attention to things. But uh, yeah, luckily I found this snake each time. Um, fast forward, had this snake for a long time, about six months or so before my parents found out. And the only reason why they found out was because one day I decided I wanted to preload on mice, right? So like, you know, the snake wouldn't run out of food or I wouldn't have to keep going out and buying food. So I kept the mice in a box, you know, with water, food, you know, and, and bedding and stuff, thinking that it was gonna be okay. Now this is a cardboard box. Yeah, and I thought it was gonna be okay. <laughs> one thing led to another and I remember one day my mom calls me and she's freaking out like she's freaking out on everybody She's freaking out on me. She's freaking out on the dogs freaking out on my dad You know on my brothers on the neighbors like freaking out on everybody. You know what I'm saying? And she was just like why is there mice crawling around in your room? Blah 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 blah, you know you know, she's like, why are you keeping mice in a little box? What is wrong with you? So I rushed home. I forgot what I was doing, but I rushed home and I was like, you know, I had to scramble all the mice. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I found all the mice. There was like five or at least I, I told her there was five. There's probably six. Either way, I think I found all the mice, but hey, don't worry. I'm not keeping mice as pets. You know, don't worry about that. I'm not going to do that. These mice are actually from my snake. <laughs> And she was like, what? What snake? Are you crazy? Like, why do you have a snake? And where the hell is this snake? Blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, I moved away some pillows and a blanket and whatever. And then I was like, boom, here's my snake. And she was, she was start, yeah, she spazzed out even worse. And she was just like, you could have burned down the house, which now that I think about it, I definitely could have. So, uh, yeah, she was like, you could have burned down the house. You know, we don't keep snakes in this household, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You need to get rid of this animal. And I was like, damn, I had this snake for like six months already. You know, I was like, the snake was doing good. She was getting big. And I was like, I was kind of disheartened, but I was like, you know what? You know, her house, her rules, I got to... I gotta follow the rules, you know? Even though I didn't really follow the rules that much. But, yeah, I was kinda bummed out cause I was like, damn, like I gotta get rid of this snake. So I actually gave it to a uh, boa breeder. Damn, I was like 15 years ago almost. So well, ever since then I didn't work with uh, with uh, boas. I never kept a boa after that, but I was always very fascinated by them. And I always wanted a, I always wanted another one one day. And I always told myself one day I'm gonna get another one. And bam, who knew that that day would be today? <laughs> and now I'm under my own roof. So ain't nobody gonna tell me I can't keep my snake. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't nobody gonna tell me I gotta get rid of my boa. So boom, here we go. Here's my new pet boa. And she's super tiny right now. I can't wait. I can't wait for her to get big and, and strong and, and healthy. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, that was that was my little story, and that's why you know, this boa is a little sentimental to me, because it's like, yo, my first snake ever was a boa. Knew nothing about snakes, but bam, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I just kept, I just saw this girl, and I was just like, wow, this thing is this thing is gorgeous. This thing is just it's so pretty, man. <laughs> Now, I know she's going to probably uh, yellow out as she gets bigger. Um, but once she gets older, all these, all this white is going to turn yellow and all the purples are going to turn white. So, I mean, it'll be a pretty cool transition. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, man. This is, uh, this is pretty cool and exciting for me to share with you guys. Because, uh, yeah, this is uh, my new pet boa. You know what I'm saying? And she's going to be staying. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Got my wife here. She's gonna finish off the video. You know, once again, you guys could go ahead and comment down below and let her know that I definitely won on that deal that we made. So, yeah, she's here. Don't hold back. Anyway, here at Royal Canvas Exotics, we want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Um, and you know, just 
find something to be thankful for you know what i'm saying like it's good to be thankful you know i'm thankful <laughs> i'm thankful for a lot of things in life name so, your uh, top three what you're grateful for ah thankful that i got these good looks you know um i'm thankful i got a job you know I'm thankful i don't i'm not in jail you know pretty good top three i think what about the first one what that was a solid top three now nah, i'm just kidding guys for real though you know you guys should always be thankful you know not just for thanksgiving but every day every day just be thankful that you're alive and doing well you know what i'm saying and you got your health all that stuff black friday so black friday there's a lot of there's a lot of Black Friday sales out there for all you reptile people if you want snakes or ball pythons and stuff. I know there's breeders out there that have like Black Friday uh, sales on their animals and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So you guys just should go ahead and check it out. Do a little shopping ourselves too. Shopping! Oh, she's going crazy shopping. Shopping! We just want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and be safe. And I appreciate you guys taking the time out on your busy Thanksgiving day to watch my video so I appreciate that hit that thumbs up button right hit that thumbs up button what's wrong with your thumb I cut oh it while God. clicking it for you yesterday oh, for clicking she cut her thumb while clicking my thumbs <laughs> no that doesn't even make I sense oh my cut my finger trying to cook for you yesterday thanks babe see I'm thankful for that too but <laughs> <laughs> all right guys Take care. You guys have a great day. Enjoy your time with your families and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just be thankful. We out. Peace. Peace.